Hi, this is Mohammed Hussein with the Denver Metro Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Today I'll be giving you some guidelines on how to prepare for your judge interview. I'll also give you some examples of questions you might be asked and how you might answer them. First, make sure to introduce yourself by telling the judges your name, what grade you're in, and what school you go to. If you did your project as a group, you should all introduce yourselves. Practice your introductions beforehand so you'll all know what order to introduce yourselves in. Then your interview will likely start with a minute where you can give a summary of your project. Interviewers might prompt you by saying something like, tell us a bit about your project. It's okay to script and memorize your summary. Just make sure you don't sound like you're reading off a script. Try to sound as natural as you can. Your summary should include the question being asked in your project, your hypothesis, an overview of your methods, the results of your experiment or project, and your conclusions. It's important to note that the judges will have already looked over your presentation materials, so they already know what your project is about. However, they're still judging how well you can summarize your project. And judges also see a lot of projects, so it is always a good idea to remind them what your project is about. Next, the interviewers will start with some common questions. These questions might have straightforward answers, but you should also use these questions to show off how impressive you and your project are. For example, an interviewer might ask, how did you come up with the idea for this project? Let's say you did an experiment involving plant growth. You could have a simple answer like, I really like plants, so I did a project on plants. Or you could sprinkle in a bit more backstory and make your answer more impressive. For example, you could say, I really loved the botany section of my science class last year. I bonded with my teacher over our love of plants, and after showing me some of her research from college, I was inspired to do a project on plant growth. This second answer is way more interesting and helps demonstrate your passion for your project. Let's try another example. What was the biggest challenge in completing your project? You could answer something like, I had to learn Microsoft Excel to analyze data, and that was really hard. Or you could have a more detailed answer, such as, I didn't have much experience analyzing data, so I used some online resources to learn Microsoft Excel. Using Excel and some online guides, I learned how to do regression analysis on my data. I was unfamiliar with data analysis, but I learned a lot through this process. This answer also demonstrates your self-directed learning. After asking some of these basic questions to get the conversation going, the interviewer will start getting more detailed in their questions. To answer these questions well, you'll need to thoroughly understand your project. Read over your own presentation materials, like your research paper or your poster, to keep the details of your project in your head. As you go over your presentation materials, try to read it as if you were the judge. What sections pop out at you? Those are the details that the interviewers are likely to ask about. Obviously, these questions will vary from project to project, but I'll give an example question and provide a few pointers. An interviewer might ask, did you run the experiment under the same conditions every day? For example, at the same temperature, time of day, lighting conditions, and so on. You might need to remember that yes, you always ran your experiment at the same time of day, but you didn't control for temperature. You might respond like this. I did control some aspects of the environment, such as time of day and lighting conditions, but I didn't control for temperature. That'll definitely be something that we'll consider doing if we run the experiments again in the future. Controlling for temperature might increase the reliability of our data. Notice how we didn't just say no when it came to controlling our temperature. We took the judge's comment into consideration for future research. Your interviewer might also ask about some technical terminology used in your project. You should make sure that you understand all the technical terms used throughout your presentation. For example, a judge might ask, you mentioned that your research might be useful in the genetic engineering of plants. What is genetic engineering and how would your project apply to it? You might respond with, genetic engineering aims to change the characteristics of an organism by changing its genetic material. My project focused on evolutionary biology, which is often applied in genetic engineering. Now that we've gone over some examples, 
Here's a list of questions taken straight from the Denver Metro Regional Science and Engineering Fair judging guide. Shh, don't tell him I stole it. Try answering some of these questions as if a judge were asking them about your project. Now that we've gone over some example questions, here are some general tips. Avoid using scientific jargon that the interviewers probably won't understand. Or if you do use scientific jargon, at least explain what it means. Make eye contact with the interviewer. No, not that kind of eye contact. This kind of eye contact. You don't have to hold eye contact the whole time, of course, but make sure to make eye contact when the judge is asking you questions. It makes it seem like you're paying attention. Be enthusiastic. Take your normal personality and turn it up a few notches. That'll make you seem really engaged in the interview. Make sure everyone in your group speaks. It's weird to talk to a group of three students and only one of them is responding to you. And this goes back to something I said before, don't just say no or I don't know in response to any question. Say something along the lines of, I'll have to look into that later or I'll certainly consider that in future projects. When you answer a question, always restate the judge's question at the beginning of the answer. This ensures that you've heard the judge's question correctly and creates a more professional answer. For example, if a judge asks you, how did you come up with the idea for this project? Before you state your full answer, you can maybe say something like, well, the process of coming up with the idea for this project was actually pretty straightforward. And then you go into your full answer. If you need to buy yourself a couple more seconds to think before you answer a question, use some of these strategies. Thank the judges for asking that question. Restate the question as part of your answer. You can also explicitly ask the judges for a couple of seconds to think about an answer. This will give you a bit more time to think about a polished answer and you don't have to stumble through the words as you're thinking. And lastly, you can't prepare for everything. Just give every question your best shot learn from the experience, and then improve for next time. If you'd like to see more resources on science fair preparation, make sure to visit the DMR SCF website. You can also reach out to us at denversciencefair at ucdenver.edu with any questions. Thanks for watching.